many, many years ago, probably 15 years ago, um, I was befriended by many of my nursing staff that were complaining of a multitude of menopausal symptoms, PMS symptoms, uh, fatigue symptoms. They couldn't work more than six hours. They got fatigued, they collapsed, they couldn't hang in there um, to work a 12-hour shift. Um, what we discovered was, we meaning the patients, the nurses, my friends, discovered that when some of the nurses shared their thyroid with other nurses that I thought was absolutely terrible that they did that and completely inappropriate, uh, the nurses claimed that they felt better. And then when they didn't take it, they felt more fatigued, and when they did take it, they felt better. Well, their hormone levels were normal, their thyroid levels were normal, and it just disturbed me that they were taking thyroid from their friends when their thyroid levels were normal and they didn't need it. And their response was, well, why don't we need it? If it makes us feel better, why shouldn't we use it? Well, because you don't need it, that's why. And other than coming up with, you shouldn't need it, um, I couldn't come up with a better answer. Um, after seeing three or 400 patients that all felt better when they took thyroid, I, I realized that there was something of benefit. And now we see medical studies showing where when your thyroid is at the upper end of normal or optimal, you feel and function better. So I was basically doing what the medical studies had proven and shown. I just wasn't aware of it a long time ago, but that's simply what I was doing. I was raising the thyroid up to optimal, which made people feel and function much better. We are taught that the main thyroid test uh, that should be used is called a TSH test, which is a thyroid stimulating hormone. It's not the actual thyroid hormone at the cell level. So it's an indirect measurement of what's going on at the cell level. The main hormone at the cell level is T3. Most doctors are not taught or trained to measure T3. We're taught to measure T4 and TSH. Most of the hormone that comes from the thyroid gland and most of the hormones that we prescribe are synthetic T4s. The active hormone at the cell level is T3. The T4 has to convert to T3. In many patients, it doesn't convert to T3. So they can take thyroid. The levels are good. They still have low thyroid symptoms because the T3 is low. They complain to the doctor that I still don't feel well. And the doctor says, well, it must be in your head, it must be something else, and it's not. It's thyroid at the cell level. If they were to measure the T3, they would realize the T3 is typically low. Raising or optimizing T3, as I did in my nursing staff, makes them feel tremendously better. Uh, we had an ER doc um, who was a lady doctor who we put on thyroid who just didn't quite understand thyroid, and it wasn't until she, she felt better that she realized how bad she really felt and how poorly she functioned. She just felt that that was just normally her. Uh, she's become a strong advocate of uh, recommending thyroid to women. Typically women do f tremendously well on it. Men do well, but not as well as women do to help them feel better. The quality of life improves significantly. The chronic fatigue, the fibromyalgia uh, improves. The having to sleep every day, having to crash and, and burn out at the end of the day, the fatigue that prevents them from getting things done like they used to uh, will improve dramatically with optimization of their thyroid. Good. The regular thyroid that they take is T4, um, and unfortunately, Synthroid is T4? Synthroid, Levoxyl, and those are the synthetic T4s, um, which works in some people, but in many people, it doesn't convert to T3, and they really need enough T3 to feel well. So what's T3 called? T3 is called T3. It's called, and you get it in what's called natural thyroid. Uh, many products are called Armour Thyroid, Westroid, Nature Thyroid, or the natural thyroids that you can get from a regular pharmacy. We compound it or prescribe it from a regular compounding pharmacy, the desiccated thyroid, which is a combination of all the natural thyroids, and that's what we primarily use um, to get the free T3 levels up. Um, whenever I give a lecture on the radio and talk about natural thyroid, we have you know innumerable calls the next day wanting to make appointments to have their thyroid checked because I describe symptoms of low thyroid, the to cold, tired, fatigue, the thin hair, thin skin, thin nails, the hair falling out, um, weight gain, they can't lose the weight, they're still dieting, they're still exercising, they still can't lose the weight. It's because of the problem with metabolism. Raising T3s tends to help improve that and helps metabolism, helps them feel better. It's extremely beneficial for cholesterol. Uh, for many patients that can't get their cholesterol down with the cholesterol medicines, you add thyroid and boy, it just drops like a rock. The hormone that's necessary to lower cholesterol at the cell level is thyroid and it works extremely well. Uh, many women will take antidepressants because they just don't feel well, and, but they still don't feel well on the antidepressant. They're not depressed, they just feel lousy. Optimizing thyroid makes them feel much better and that's what my nurses discovered. We feel better. Don't you understand that we feel better? Why don't you understand that? I didn't understand it because that's not what I was taught and trained. I was taught and trained, give them T4, put the TSH levels here, and they're fine. If they still have thyroid symptoms, then it's got to be something else. They're depressed or something else. There isn't anything else. It's thyroid. They're just not optimized. They're just not on enough of it to make them feel better. I notice tremendous mental differences. And many patients, young women, 40 and 50, will complain, this fogginess. I got this fogginess. I'm just not clear. I'm not thinking as clearly as I used to. I don't understand. I just can't get things done. 
the flogginess will improve on the thyroid. A real nice study was published in a, a medical journal called Geriatrics. And they took this group of older men with normal thyroid, normal thyroid levels, not on thyroid, and they gave them thyroid. And then they tested them. Um, those that were on the highest dose of thyroid were the ones that had the improvement of memory, improvement of cognition, improvement of well-being. Those that had low levels or were not treated, were treated with a placebo, did not see any improvement at all. Great study, again showing there's beneficial effects to optimizing the thyroid, even in older folks, to help improve memory, cognition, uh, metabolism. Um, thyroid is a hormone that affects all organs, all tissues, all systems. And when the level is low, which we consider normal, low means it's just as, you're just as low as everyone else your age, that low is not optimal for your health and well-being. Optimizing those levels tends to improve. And e the medical studies consistently show that. Patients will frequently give this information to the doctors and the doctors will resist it. Um, we doctors know it. Don't try to educate us. We already know it. We were already taught it. Don't educate us. We're not interested in something that you bring in for us to learn. Well then how does the patient convince their doctor otherwise? You can't. It's difficult. The physician sort of has to do it on their own. Um, it's like trying to get them to change something that they've been doing for 30 years and now been told that that's wrong and we have to do shift gears and, and go to something else. If they can't get their doctor to do it, then they need to seek out somebody that does do it. Um, most, probably 75% of our patients are not from our area. We do what the science says. We're just following the cookbook that the science shows us to do, but many doctors don't understand that.